Alrighty, so I've been seeing this team uh, pretty frequently, I would say. Like, I want to say this is like the counterpart to people running uh, like the Ludociel Escanor team, and obviously you can probably tell why. Uh, the two newest characters are meta breaking units, and uh, they both have two attack cards. So, why would you not run anything other than attack sealed to counter that? So, it's always. I don't know, it's always really interesting to me to just see how the meta sort of shifts whenever it's like debuff intense meta, you know, you, you, you don't see any attack seal units and then, you know, it kind of swaps around and then once a new like double, double attacking unit comes out that does like insane damage. Uh, there's always like a new attack seal like meta that sort of comes out. You always see, you know, Red Gother, Summer Merlin kind of pop back into the, uh, into the meta a little bit so um let's do something like this i guess i kind of wanted to save the uh the rank up just in case so that way i can use it for um go there next turn which might have been the better play but actually we uh we ended up getting a double rank up so that's actually really good for us um he can still disable with chandler he can still put up a taunt so he's actually going to cleanse his debuffs because he has the Holy Relic here. And I actually now cannot uh, rank up, which is a bit unfortunate because I don't have another... Um, <laughs> I don't have another Merlin card. So that is actually very unfortunate. I think we're going to... Hmm. Ah. Uh, I couldn't make my mind up. Ooh, that actually did better damage than I was expecting it to do, actually. Uh, what are we looking at here? At least we... I mean, it's not the, the end of the world. It would have been really nice to have that rank up, to be honest. But uh, if I wouldn't have done anything, it would have gotten rid of my... Uh... Oh, my God. Ugh. Huh. I don't think I have any chance to win this <laughs> now that uh you know this has happened so let's um <laughs> i guess we'll just ult we'll rank up and put the level three on them because why not i don't think there's really any point in continuing this match to be honest yeah that didn't do all that much damage because of the damage reduction and everything i just don't have the damage here so uh, i am going to move on uh i don't know that was I really hate that I screwed it up there by uh, waiting too long, but sometimes I'm just like gears grinding in my head, can't make a decision, so I'll be right back. Alrighty. I don't know. Going back to the meta discussion, I always think that it is really cool to sort of see um, just these uh, like random sort of units that always end up making their way back into the meta kind of deal. So let's... Um, who is his thing on? Does he have Tarmiel Link on her? He does. Let's go for the double attack here. We'll just go for triple attack. We'll, we'll lock the whole the whole thing down. I kind of figured he was running evasion food here, so... Uh, he has a lot of debuff cards, though. So he can still actually attack seal me because he can rank up with Gother. Oh, and he's running Nanashi in the back. Um, hmm. This actually might be a really good team. Just for the pure fact that he's going to have a lot of extra stats from Nanashi. And he's got two attack sealers. And then Rimaru to do extra damage, which is really good. Um, luckily, I don't have to worry too much. Because I can still get off a lot of attack seal. Um, I hate to... I hate to merge those Merlin cards, but I think it would be best to do that anyway. So now he has... That's a two-turn attack seal on. I have extra Merlin cards. Ooh, we even have... We even have the level three melee, if I can get it off. I highly doubt it. I imagine he probably still ends up with an attack seal here. Uh, what am I looking like? To be expected. Um... 
I think... Let's do this. So that way he can't ult rush just in case. And then we have an ult in hand. He doesn't have a dissolve on me. I also have my true magic stack. He has two cards that he can use. So odds are in my favor here. <laughs> what does he have? Um, okay, hey, I... Well, he had a level two card, so if it's a... And it, okay. Uh, oh, this is the level two card. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was going to say if he has a level two attack seal, then uh, that would have sucked. But uh, I, th <laughs> I think I'm good to go at this point. Uh, we'll just throw pretty much everything we have. I should have used the other one so that way it merged, but I would imagine this probably kills. Yeah, 2.3 million damage. Very, <laughs> very good. I don't know. His ultimate is insane enough to where as long as you attack seal long enough and stall, you should be okay, really. Alrighty, we have a demon team. Um, Interested to see how this one kind of turns out. Because... Uh, Esterosa is also a double attacker. So, who has your Tarmio link on? Okay, Melly has your Tarm link. So, let's go for this. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, no. I triple attacked. And I didn't do it in the right order. I completely forgot about the Melly cleanse. So, now he has true magic. That is fantastic. I, uh,. Hey, I'm not, uh, <laughs> not claiming to be a genius here or anything, but uh, it's definitely part of the uh, the charm, I guess, that Melly has. Which, I don't know, it might end up helping me here, because obviously if you lock them down too much, they get into the, like, you get into the rut to where you're not going to lose your own Melly stacks, I guess. So, I think it's not actually that big of a deal, because we can go for... Uh, the attack seal again into the melee AoE. Wait. I think because he had two stacks, it actually... Yeah, okay. It actually works out this time. <laughs> I almost messed it up again because I was just... <laughs> I'm not thinking about it at all. Um, okay, so now we have... Oof. Um, now we have the Merlin Ultimate. I have pulled a couple of extra copies of her. Okay, it killed Zeldris, which is good. Kind of wish I would have AoE'd now, but, uh, well, he has Tarmio Link on, so this might still be a, a decent secure. Yeah. Um, okay, and then we have to worry about Escanor, of course, but, um, we... Uh, we, we can actually attack seal him as well, so could work out kind of nicely for us. Um, let's go for... I have true magic uh, after one attack, so let's... Let's maybe attack ult. Uh, it doesn't really matter at that point, so I'll just use this. Because he can't be attack sealed once he dies. We might be playing right into his hand here, unfortunately. But I really can't do anything. It's not like I can get rid of those gold cards out of his hand. I don't have, like, a delete or anything. So, uh, he has... I, it doesn't matter, really, because I win either way. I, one, have uh, the damage cap on with melee at this point, And, two, I also have a backline unit. So, even if he completely wipes me here, uh, which he doesn't, uh, yeah, he, he loses his last stack, so... All right, uh, embarrassing that I messed up the attack seal, but uh, I'll try to keep it in mind. All right, we have another demon team here. Is this the same? I don't think it is. Uh, he actually beats me in CC, which is unfortunate. I, uh, I've i actually been thinking about it, and I was like, I don't know, maybe I wanted, or, well, before, the or before I started the video, I was thinking about putting him on HP defense just to try to secure uh, more CC, but... Um, I also probably need to invest into Merlin's outfits. I don't really use her a whole lot, and there has been a costume sale before that I didn't take advantage of for Merlin just because I don't really use her. But, um, I don't know. She is one of those characters that uh, can be very useful in the meta. Oh, does she die? Yeah, she dies. Rip. Um, 
Um, I'm actually not in the worst spot here. Do you have Tarmia Link on him? You do. Okay, so let's try to get rid of Estarosa, I guess. And then we'll attack Seal. Really good damage on Estarosa there. Really bad damage on that. I, I say really bad, but it's it's not that bad. Uh, so now all he has is the Infect card. I get one melee. Okay, I get two melee cards. Depending... Um, hmm. This is kind of a tough one. Because Estarosa is a problem, and I would like to get rid of him, but I'm not going to be able to get rid of melee, and I can't attack seal this turn. So I think we go for the... I think we upgrade melee, we do the single target, and then we gain true magic here, and then I get rid of hopefully both of those characters. Not that I'm really worried about this ult. This ult I met actually is not really that crazy in my opinion. I don't think I kill him, actually. Yeah, I don't kill uh I don't kill Zeldris, which is actually kind of unfortunate. I figured that was gonna do more damage. I'm wondering why that didn't do nearly as much. Like, I mean, I know he was, you know, losing some health, but I figured that that would do pretty decent. I don't know. And plus, I mean, I, this is so common, running Escanor in the back. I just, I don't agree with it, really, just because I know that characters do so much better with proper support. See, what is that? He's doing way more than me. <laughs> oh, the recovery disabled, too, from, from the Tarmiel Link is so, so good for him. Oh the one time he actually does a decent amount of damage. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Um, I mean, that's going to happen, though. If you get out CC'd with the Attack Seal team, more than likely you're going to lose a character, uh, especially in this meta, so I don't know. Alrighty, ooh, we have a Ludo CL. Uh, I don't think that it's a real player, I would imagine. But it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so... Well, I guess it kind of matters. If it was a real player, I would assume... That he would be able to, uh, you know, out CC me with this team more than likely. But um, yeah, I don't know. I it, I'm not a big fan of the attack seal team. Like it's super toxic. It ends up being a little bit slow. It kind of just uses all of the things that I hate about uh, about the PvP meta sometimes, where it's just like, oh, like let's lock them down and then ult rush. And I, one, hate ult rush. I don't like using an ultimate to win. It just feels very scummy uh, and very just... It, does, it just feels like it never takes any skill. Um, but, I don't know, it's just personal preference, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, it's just not really something that I would personally use. But you never know. Yeah, it is what it is. So, luckily, the only thing he can do... I don't know if he actually uses, like, a a blacked out card if it'll count towards not giving him the uh the dissolve from pa uh, melee's passive there i'm kind of i'm kind of curious to be honest uh i think if i merge this and then <laughs> i honestly just want to use this again uh, it's a bot so i'm not that worried about being this toxic but i want to get a decent true me uh, like true magic stack on before I uh, attack. I kind of wish I would have got another upgrade, so that way I could have got a level three because I really like using the true magic level three AOE. It's super super good. Uh, but either way, we'll use this. Uh, oh, I can't get it yet. Uh, hmm. We'll go ahead and use that either way though, and then <laughs> hey, I've, I've gotten so much attack seal it really doesn't matter this is actually going to hinder the attack seal a bit because obviously uh i can't you know attack seal escanor when he's in final stand but doesn't really matter that much it's kind of whatever he's gonna have one card to absolutely wreck me okay and i get the aoe uh that i wanted so i can't remember if if Escanor dies on his turn. I don't think his backline unit comes down out of the back. That was actually a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Yeah, his backline doesn't come down. Okay. That's kind of what I thought, but I wasn't positive on that. So, 
either way, I don't know, kind of a whatever kind of video, to be honest. But uh, I, I've been seeing it a lot lately, so I kind of just wanted to mess around with it for a video. But either way, not something that I would really recommend you run. I mean, obviously, you could run it with evasion food and still probably have a much better chance of surviving and getting off the combo and everything and starting your toxic journey into, you know, pummeling them into submission. But I don't know. It is what it is. It, she's, a, she's a seasonal character, Summer Merlin is, so I know a lot of people maybe either don't have her or, you know, don't have her super invested into her or whatever, but um, I don't know. I haven't, I don't, I don't invest super, like, crazily, crazily into mine, so I, I think you'd be okay if you really wanted to run it, but I don't know. It is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.